Hello everyone, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I usually do like theories within the big hit universe and uh, today we're going to be reacting to Apple by GFriend and I'm really excited. Um, last time I reacted to GFriend, I like put a whole bunch of stuff together in my head. And so this time I am very excited obviously because um, there's just so much going on in just all the previews that we saw. And I actually just can't wait to get into it. <laughs> I think I lost my internet. Oh, I didn't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it was just not loading. There's the apple again. So I was thinking that the apple has to do with like their glass bead or like their temptation, especially because Una seems to want to collect the glass beads. So the fact it's showing her. Okay. <laughs> that, like, reminds me of Snow White. Okay, I have to go back. I usually don't, but that... Wow! That choreography! I can't get over that. Icy Destination? The, the, the garden just turned straight into some building, okay. So this whole, the whole lyric seemed to be talking about the apple. Wow, Shinbi's hair like stands out so much. They're leaving her behind. See, glittering crystal, that's what makes me think it has to do with the apple. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The flower petals are heavier than the glass bead, which I thought the glass bead was the apple. Maybe not. The translucent glass bead is growing red. See, um, apple? <laughs> this seems like it's like literally bewitching you. Saying, don't worry about it, it's fine. Wait, I have to go back again. Who's pulling her in? Everyone else is pulling her in. Whoa! Ugh. Yuju! Oh my god, the glass bead is, pur is purple. Red! Uh. So she's lost in the maze. Which is like the labyrinth. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot today. Now, I think in my previous video I said that like the whole thing gave off blood, sweat, and tears vibes, but is this not the exact same thing that Namjoon does? I swear, it looks exactly like this. Yo. G-Friend said gay rights. I love that. Oh my god. Look at their outfits! Oh, I knew she was cutting her hair. Oh my god. The tree's on fire! <laughs> They're burning down the tree, you guys! I said they cut down the tree. That's basically the same thing. Holy crap. They were trying to get rid of the temptation? Wait. Who's, whose hand is that? Whose hand is that? Obviously Una, and then who's on the opposite? I'm trying to figure out what the butterfly does too, because they're not like... Bro? Uh, I also really love this choreography. The endless witching hour descends. Girl! Wow! Her dancing! Yes! Yes! Infused with color all my gray decisions? Boy.
What? Oh my god. Do they have horns? <laughs> they have horns! Okay, that makes me think of, like, Maleficent. Do they go to the dark side? But it also makes me think of TXT, because in TXT, Yeonjun has horns. I wish I knew the story of Maleficent better, just, like, off of the top of my head. I need to watch this again. She's got, like, numbers on her sleeves. Number six. There's six members in G-Friend. It looks like she might be the only one that has them. Wait, who? I, want, I need to look at everyone's sleeves. I think if you go off the sleeves, so on is the one that pulls her in. Wait, like, let's look at, like, look, look at her sleeves. See, they have this, like, cuff on them. See, look, there's that cuff again. None of the other ones had that kind of cuff. So I think it must have been so on who pulled her in. Wow. This almost looks like they're getting drunk. <laughs> Okay, infusing with color all my gray decisions, and then they, of course, they show the glass bead, which was originally, I guess you could call it gray, colorless, um, and now it's infused with red. So, once again, the apple maybe affects the, like, glass bead, um, which sort of represents their power and their soul, so I don't know... It's like this, the whole video is them turned into the dark side, and then of course the ending with the horns really seems to emphasize that to me. Also, the butterfly on top, I don't... The butterflies are really interesting in this because it almost seems to, like, it leads them here, theoretically, if you base it off of the previous, like, videos that we saw. Um, and then also, they're, like, constantly in the music video, but they're not turning back time or anything like that, they're just, like sitting there. Are the butterflies bad? Is anything good in this world? <laughs> also, the apple turned into the bead there, if you know. Apple turns into the bead. Makes sense, once again, if the apple represents the bead somehow. They didn't let her in. Why did they not let Erin in? What is that that fell? Oh, a flower petal. It looks like a tooth in the right direction, like a really big tooth. It's a flower petal. How does it start burning? It just catches fire? Is this Magic Island? <laughs> Where it just catches fire? But whose hand is that? Okay, this on the left is Unha, but who's giving the glass bead to Una? It's someone without sleeves. Of course, there's multiple people without sleeves, so that just doesn't help at all. Wait, they're in the white outfit. Let's go look again at the white outfits. Possibly fake Yaren because she was denied entrance, and we've got Shinbi. So it was either Shinbi or fake Yaren. I'm gonna go with probably Shinbi because of the dance that we see. It would almost make more sense if it was Yaren. Uh, the lyrics here say, the, let, let rise the shimmering light of destruction, which makes me think of don't like listen to the shining fake. I guess they'd really be embracing their bad decisions. Because, like, I, I'm trying to understand right now. Like, obviously, they're coloring the glass beads. And we saw colored glass beads, I think, in Fingertip um, before. And that was the only time that I can remember offhand where the glass beads actually had color to them. And obviously, the tree burning down, I think, I think that that happened before, possibly in another timeline. I don't know if this is... I don't know where in the timeline this is. In time for the Moon Knight, there's like, people thought it was like Una's grave, um, and Yuju is bringing flowers to this grave, and I believe that that's probably the apple tree, like the grave of the apple tree, because of the cut down trees. A anyway, if you watched my previous video, I talked about it there. This is such an interesting shot to me because it's like, the apple is what seems to be bringing them closer together in this particular one. Like the other ones, they're, you can't really tell because they're facing each other. But here it's like the apple is in between both Shinbi and Una because we saw them fighting in Crossroads, right? So we know that they were like not completely getting along. Um, and now suddenly in this music video, after they ran and they got lost in the labyrinth, they've become essentially bewitched by this apple tree which stains their glass beads with red, with color. Um, 
and it's like very like cult-like in a way like there's a lot of like ritualistic aspects in this music video um that, that to me that look like that i don't know if that's actually 100 accurate but towards the end here like I, I think i mentioned but they seem to be like embracing like that temptation and that's why they have the horns also the, the, the light here casts the, hor the horns to make like them look kind of red which i find interesting and it's interesting that the horns grow out of the ground but i was i was wondering if maybe that makes like a forest of horns or something because <laughs> we've seen a lot of forests in g friends and in the big hit universe in general especially like with txt but yeah that's wow i would like to do a theory on this um we'll see what happens uh, i have a lot of thinking to do i think i have a lot of thinking to do i think i can't tell if this is meant to be representative or if this was actually happening it's on the edge of like reality and not reality and then there's that weird thing with um yaren and in the building but she was also sleeping in the garden which makes me think there's two yarens and i mentioned before there seems to be like a mirror world so is it actually just una and yuju who are somehow in this mirror world and they're being bewitched by the other girls here like soan pulls in una and i assume it was shinbi who pulls in una again at the end and everyone covers the eyes of yuju so it's like you start to wonder like what's up with that but yeah why did they close the door on a year in i have to think about it some more so <laughs> yeah if there, there might be a video on that so look out for that in the future if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me with notifications turned on so that you're notified every single time that i post a video all of my social media is linked down below there's also a discord server there where you can come and chat with us about theories all kinds of theories from all over the big hit universe and as it is, stay sunny, everyone. Bye.